Welcome, Internet, and everyone out there in the ether to episode 38 of Sis and Big Pops Culture. I am, as always, Big Pops Todd Turner, also known as Mosaic Fan Art. Are you gonna and and are you gonna introduce me or am I just gonna introduce myself? You say you And as like... always, my fantastic <laughs> <laughs> Exponentially greater than I am co-host is the one and only Hi friends, I am Hannah Jo, aka Sis, and together we are an adult daughter and father duo We dive into all things geek, nerd, and fandom Every episode is family friendly Okay, so that was an uncomfortable pause. That was not uncomfortable. It was hysterical on my end. Okay, I'm still good. cackling about it. Well, give me the lowdown, Hannah Joe. So, what do we got going yeah, on today? We are going to talk about some uh, nerd news, things that, hey, we find interesting. So maybe it's not news to you, but news to us. And we're here for that. Um, we're going to talk about what we're binging. Dad has a pull list for us. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. We'll tell you all about it. Um, we are reviewing the film Free Guy. That's right. We're spoiling ahead it for Free Guy. It's rotten Raspberry coming your way. Rotten Raspberry coming your way, ladies and gents. We're gonna spoil you rotten. And we um read the first trade paperback of Scott Pilgrim versus the World. It is called um Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Life. That's yeah. what the trade is called that we read. Yep. Fantastic. Deep. So let's just dead. hop into it. Dead, 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 dead. dead. Do I, can I say nerd news now? Yeah, okay, sorry. Go ahead, sorry. Nerd news. <laughs> okay, what, Hannah? Hannah. Did, Hannah, you Hannah, see, Hannah? did you see the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer yet? Okay, so like the first four thi- three things I have up here are all Marvel trailers. <laughs> and yes, I <laughs> watched you, it three times. I need you to know that that guy, I can't remember what his name is. What's his name? Wong. No, not Wong. The guy. Benedict Cumberbatch, no, Tom Holland, the the your Alfred Doc Molina, Hawk. yeah. When he oh, when when gosh. when his when his claw that, went down, <laughs> when it was like dunk, and I was like, Dad's gonna freak out. I literally screamed out loud, Dad's gonna freak out. And then it was his face, and he said, "Hello, Peter." And I'm like, "What? No!" I that, freaked actually, out. Actually, the part that I really caught me off guard was the um, pumpkin bomb. Clink, 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 clink. And then you hear the goblin laughing in I the heard background. The, yeah, that was bonkers. That's, that's from Willem Toby. Def- that's yeah, Tobey Maguire. Def- well, they're both Tobey Maguire. Yeah. And um, I was <laughs> like, is Willem Dafoe even in this? But I heard his so, laugh. I know. It feels right? so much like, remember I talked to you about that Spider-Man um, one last, what did I call it? One last I don't day remember. or one more day. The Spider-Man one more day where he went and they, the deal with Mephisto and they erased everybody knowing he was... I wonder if it's not Stephen Strange. His hair looked terrible at the beginning. Did you notice that? His hair looked all straight back. Wondering if it's not him. It is him. You think it's not? You? I don't think it is. I think I'm curious because why is it everything covered in snow? I think they were probably doing something with a frost giant or something. Gotcha. It didn't phase them. I mean, they were totally cool. They, they were just like, jackets yeah, on and everything. Snow. I thought it was hysterical yeah. that he was like, will you please do this? And Wong, Wong's like, no, Steven. And then he like, don't do that spell. And then he winked yeah. at him. And I was like, mm-hmm. really? You think what? Hmm. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. The funny thing was, character. we're using code names. Oh, I'm Spider-Man. Okay. <laughs> you can call me. Yeah. He's, so, he's yeah, like, I Steven, he's like, I don't know how I feel about that. But, but I'm... Mm, curious you probably haven't watched the eternals trailer have i haven't you? the new Not the one the new one Fantastic. the defenders or something something with the d no the eternals no but there was something with the d the deviants they're the bad dad, guys i know things yeah, not Defenders. The Defenders I know things, Dad. is a Marvel group. The comic book was fun. The TV show was terrible. So um and um they've been I, I don't know. I think they're going to put out a new Shang Chi bit every day till September third. It feels that you way. You see the thing with uh, Aquafina and him trying to how to pronounce and his name. I thought that was 
was so cool because we talked about yes, that. About we talked how about everyone that. had been pronouncing it and had like literally everyone well, had been pronouncing it incorrectly because that's how it was pronounced. Even though yeah, Shang Chi forever. But I literally have the to correct pronunciation. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I have to look no, at it in my head to say it. Pronunciation, pronunciation. Yeah, I just that man. I thought that was hysterical. Yeah, what a I did funny too. way to to like poke fun yeah. and Shang be like, Chi. let's Shang teach you Chi. how to, how to say, say it. this. And Aquafina just being ah, silly. It's just yeah. hysterical. I hope it's a good movie. It Man, looks great. It looks it's fun. gonna be it's gonna be a kung fu movie, so Ew. martial arts. I'm here for it. So Sony basically came out today and said, you know, we have the MCU, right? Do you know have you ever heard of the SSMU? It's Spider. the Sony Spider Man universe. Duh. So that's what they're calling their Carnage movie. Um, they're, uh, um, Mobius, Morbius, Morbius, <laughs> not Dad. Mobius, Morbius. Ooh. That's what they're going to be doing. They're going to call, cause I think they want to do a Craven movie and they have all these ideas to do Man, all these I movies. I don't know about this new Venom movie though, dad. I didn't like the other one. I didn't watch it. I didn't it. watch it. Sorry, Venom. Ew. Alien symbiotes listening in. Yeah, yeah I please. Yeah, the, the alien beings who are choosing to listen to us, please, A, don't turn us into chickens or eat us. <laughs> and B, chicken. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. I know the what end. you're talking about. Okay, thank you. The I appreciate end. that. Well, what else you got besides um, those? Because okay, okay, I'm super okay, stoked okay, for okay, all okay. Marvel movies. The Here's, here's the thing. Here's my what? question. What are we going to watch on Christmas? Granted, well, I know it's August, but did you see... So, Kingsman, we're not going to watch that. But The Kingsman is finally coming out in December. It's coming out December really? 22nd. Gotcha. Well, the, the Spider-Man, Spider-Man movie December comes 17th. 17th. Uh, that'll be And then Christmas. Sing 2 is... <sighs> yeah, I know. Is, Sally will want to watch Sally Sing Sally will want to watch Sing 2. Is we'll probably do Sing 2. Also December 22nd. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, well, maybe we're going to watch on Christmas. We have a thousand movies to watch. Ew. But Sing 2. It, I think it looks good. I don't know about uh, the King's Man. I'm, I'm uh, for it. What? I'm stoked for the King's Man. Stoked. I've been talking about that for so long. I love those movies. I really so like the other two. They were really good. They're really good. Taron Egerton. Them. Taron Egerton, he's a good one. But he won't be in this one, right? Because this takes place in the few past. Mm-mm. This is the past. Yes. Yeah, it is. So he won't oh, yeah. be in it. So it takes place in, that's what I'm saying. He, he'll be in Sing yeah. 2. He's the gorilla in Sing 2. Serious? Mm-hmm. He sings. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, there Good you singer. go. Doop a doop a doop a um, boop. Do you see that they they're putting out a Cruella mang- manga? No. Manga? I'm mispronouncing it. And you can see a free pe- preview of it uh at the company that's putting it out. It's uh, www.viz, www.viz.com. That's you cool. can go on there and read a preview. I think it's like 15 bucks, but it's a uh, black and white Cruella manga. Cruella de Vil. And it, it, um, the cover of it looked like Emma Stone. Cool. Okay, her so Cruella. yeah, drawing him like her likeness. That's cool. Yes. So, yeah, that's um, cool. Dum, dum, dum. Cowboy Bebop is going to be on Netflix on the 19th, November the 19th. <sighs> yes. It yes. looks like it's live action? It is live action. The guy Didn't who played Sulu really? in the new movie. I'm pretty sure he's the star okay, of it. Okay, I'm here for that. I like him. Yeah. I think I he's am, a good actor. My so I'm here's the, here's the thing. It. I know I've watched nothing two about episodes. it. I've watched two episodes. Do you like it? Um, I do like it. It's um, the music is great. First, we of love all. that. Um, the premise. I'm I'm only two episodes in. Is like hey he. There's two guys that are like on a spaceship, and they're they're like bounty hunters. Cool. And in the second ship, they got a dog. We a corgi, dogs. A Welsh corgi, but he's a data dog. So apparently he's able to do a whole bunch of data or something. I don't know. But yeah. Puppies. Yeah. So that's what that's all I know so far. I've got friends that love it, and I'm trying to get into it So be, because I want to watch it on Netflix. So yeah, it's okay. It's not as bad with the cussing as some of the other ones. Gotcha. Yeah, although I was getting shamed because it was dubbed and not subbed. Mm. And Nathan was like, What? I was like, whatever, I'm watching it. You're not even watching. You're playing back air in the back. So anyway, yeah, I did see that. Did you see who's going to be the uh, temporary host of Jeopardy? No. 
So Queen the Latifah. girl, no, um, the girl on cool. oh the show you watched all the episodes like all thirteen seasons but didn't um with all the nerds. Big Come on, Bang all the, Theory. Yeah, Big Bang Theory. The his girlfriend, um, Amy Farrah Fowler. Ba- Ma- 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 Milam. Yeah, Ma- yeah, yeah. Her. Yeah, yeah. She like actually has a doctorate. Like she actually has her PhD. Yep. She's like really cool. I know. She was in. Um, That's dope. She was in a TV show when I was a kid, and I for the life of me can't remember what it was called. Um, Blossom. She was in Blossom. That's what it was. Yeah. Cool. That's what fun. else you got? Um, Anthony Mackie has signed on for Captain America four. Of course. Are you kidding me? Um, I wish you would watch the daggone TV show. Okay, Dad. What? Working on it. It's great. We'll do it eventually. No, you won't. No, that's, it's not because Trev and I are watching all of the Marvel movies. Okay, good. And yeah, so, so we will watch, watch those at some okay. point. All right. Um, um, I started watching What If. I'm with you. It was not good. I... Um, I'm going to address that in the binging. Okay. I have, I have changed my stand. Okay, no, but I hated it. Okay, well. Oh, oops. We'll talk <laughs> about that later. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, how's that news? It's, it's relevant to us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Do you want um, one more piece of Hannah news? And then I'll be yeah, done with my news. Well, here, I've got, I've got two. Well, you're not going to think um, this is news, though. No, go ahead, say it. Okay, so the, we went and watched Free Guy, and the Dune trailer popped up. And We had terrible trailers. Really? They were all like rated R horror movie trailers. We had Kingsman Sing 2? Question mark? What? Sing 2 was a trailer for Free Guy? I have no idea. That makes sense. Uh, there were a bunch of young kids in the movie when we saw Man, it. Man, I, I don't know if I'd let my kid watch that movie if they're Ditto. sweet Ditto, little but, young ones. But, Ditto, but um, anyway... But Dune was one of the trailers, and Trev was like, what is this? I'm like, this is one of my dad's favorite books, and we talked about it for a second, mm-hmm. and he bought the book, and we're going to read it. <gasps> it's a great book. I yeah. have the book, and I have it on CD, so you can listen to it, too, okay. if you don't really want to read well, it. Well, I have borrowed his Kindle, and it is on the Kindle. Just get a book. You can go buy it at Half Price <laughs> Books for like two bucks. <laughs> It's like <laughs> one of the top 10 sci-fi <laughs> novels of all time. You should own it. <laughs> well, I'll okay, borrow so, your paper copy when I come see you right. in September. Um, Boba Fett's ship has officially changed its name. Cool. What's the name now? It's no longer Slave One, which what has is it? everyone uh, 45 and older madder than fire. They're <laughs> calling it Fire Spray. That's cool. It's cooler than yeah. Slave One. No, because it's, I don't know. Anyway, they, they announced it on the War of the Bounty Hunters um, official release that's called the Fire Spray. One other thing I had down here. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, Rocketeer. Yeah, we watched that movie. It's a we Disney movie. We love the Rocketeer. Fate of the Future two-player strategy game being released. So Okay, two-player strategy game. Does that mean board game mm-hmm. or video game? I think it's like uh, cards and stuff. No, it's not video. It's a board game. It's a board game. Okay. So one player is the Rocketeer and his allies, and the other player is Neville Sinclair and the Thugs. And the Thugs. And I guess it's uh, it's by Disney and Funko Games, and it looks great. That's fun. Anyway. Cool. That's all my news. So yeah, Woo-hoo! Hannah. Now. You said you had a bunch binging stuff. I have a stuff bunch of binging earlier. stuff. Are we I'm just gonna run through it just and go. then you can ask me questions. How about just that? Just go. Go. Okay. Finished all of the Marvel movie movies other than Spider Man uh Far From Home. No way home. Far from Far Home. Far from Home. Yeah. Um Trev had never seen Endgame before. And so at the very end, we're both like low key sobbing. Like low key sobbing. Not, mm-hmm. not. I mean, like tears. I got like, you. Blown got nose. You. It was great. Um, watch Knives Out. Oh, say so. First of all, let's tell our listeners. Oh, okay. The Disney Plus movies. The Avengers yeah. are on Disney Plus. All of Knives the out, except Knives Out Amazon. is on Amazon. Correct. Um, dum, dum, dum. I just started rewatching West Wing. Which is on what? HBO Max. Okay. Man, that had me crying in the club too. It's just, so it's just so wholesome. It's just so wholesome. West Wing is wholesome? Yeah. Huh. Martin okay. Sheen. Martin Sheen just well, loves his people so well, and it just makes me cry. Gotcha. I, I cry okay. about it. 
Um, oh, dum, 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 dum. What else? Um, dum, 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 dum. Suits. You went back to suits? Back Has to anyone suits. got a new suit? Or are um, they still wearing the same old suits? They're wearing fancy suits still. Lewis, our man, is back in charge of the associates. He's the goat. Uh, phenomenal. Yes, exactly like that. Um, gotcha. Found a way to watch Ruby. And so have restarted watching Ruby. And oh my goodness, it's Explain some to people bonkers what Ruby shenanigans. Is, know. Uh, Ruby, is, Ruby an American is an American anime. anime. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. season five. Gotcha. And season five right now of out of eight, and it's still ongoing. Like it's they haven't wow. finished, and the world building just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and I just keep getting more and more confused, and I love it all of the time. I just can't do it. Man, it's just so good. And it was on Amazon Prime, and it still is, but you have to pay for it, but it's on Rooster Teeth. How, what's Rooster's Teeth? I don't know. I'm, I'm not in charge of how we watch that. Okay, gotcha. There you go. <laughs> you leave it at that. I'm just not. Okay. I just am like, okay, I'm here. But yeah. Okay. Well, um, I Man, we need to talk. We need to review Knives Out, Dad. Yeah, you're right. We do. We do. I'm um, just saying that movie. Bops. It's a great. I love it. It's a good movie. It's so good. So, I'm stoked about the next one too. I could not finish Batman Returns. It's terrible. <laughs> I was gonna say what happened, but we know we already knew I it was sat bad, there Daddy. And watched it. I gosh, I'm like, this is terrible. I couldn't believe <laughs> now, granted, we're growing up, I loved this movie, and now I'm sitting there watching it and going, This ain't good. First is of all, the- it's not even a Batman movie. It's a Tim Burton movie, and Batman just happens to be in it. So but we said that about the Batman movie That's should have been Batman. called the Joker. Yeah. Um, I don't I know. The penguin's a Batman gross. Movie either. Nothing personal, Danny DeVito, but I just can't do it. It does not hold up at all. And I had I have friends who think that that movie holds up better than the other movie. I'm like, no. Uh-uh. It's bad. Mm-hmm. Um, the only thing that I like in that is Christopher Walken is Christopher Walken, and Christopher you get Walken. what you get. I like, no... I like Michelle Christopher Pfeiffer Walken is just, as Christopher Walken. <laughs> I'm like, really? Michelle Pfeiffer as the Catwoman licking herself and... Hey, you've been a naughty kitty. And no, I'm it's like, awful. This is just a Heinous. little bit inappropriate. A little bit inappropriate. Okay, maybe a lot. Okay. So anyway, I turned it off. I didn't finish it. Good for you. But um, we're big I, about that on the podcast, friends. If you're watching just, something and it ain't vibing, you don't, you don't have to finish it, it. Which happened with What If it, Episode One? Man, I, didn't I couldn't much care. For maybe it. that's what it was. Maybe it was the first episode because it was. And then bad. I went back and started it over, and I loved it. I loved it. Man. Did you watch the second one? No, I stopped. The second one is fantastic. The second one is What if uh, T'Challa the Black Panther was a ranger? Be, became a Star ravager. Lord. Okay. Became Star Lord. It is so good. I'm going to take it all back. Okay. I'm taking it all back. And did you finish that episode of What If? No, the Dad, first I said, one? No. I stopped. How far did you get? How far did you get? See if you stopped it where I stopped it. The she's like the guys like um like the big guys are like oh they sent a woman to do a man's job and oh she I like, stopped it before that she like punches him and I'm like I can't stop time out we out peace and love mm-hmm. no I you gotta watch it man I I don't want to oh it's good and here's I don't think what I, I will th- here is what I think is happening okay I think they are leading up to a what if Avengers. Maybe even a What If Avengers movie. They have released that the next season of What If, so it's been confirmed for another season, Correct. is going to have um, plots and movies that have been used in Phase 4. Well, I mean, so basically what happens at the end of Episode 1, um, I don't want to say it because some Just people might... Just say it. Who cares? Might, no, because spoil, go spoil, 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 spoil for what if so, season one episode. You know one. what happens to Captain America, right? He freezes and they wake him up to go yeah, fight. She doesn't get frozen. No, she gets um, sucked in with the Tesseract to try to keep an interdimensional care- being from coming in, and she disappears. And um, she becomes the sole person. No, she disappears. She gets sucked in. Okay. And then what happens is, is you see Fury and Hawkeye 
activating the Tesseract and it shoots her out along with like these tentacles where she destroyed it. And uh, um, she's like, where's Steve Rogers? And they're like, this happened so long ago or whatever. And she's like, he owed me a dance. You know, uh. just like the movie. So you're like, oh, she's starting over. They woke her up now. So now she's in the new a new time. And um, so she has a Captain Britain and she gets a sword. Oh, she gets yeah. a sword. You oh, gotta go yeah. Back and, gotta go back and watch it. Man, and it's like nothing. It's like got I'm, some funny stuff because. Can I attend here you, for like the lady power and her being like, like, ha, da, 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 being like but, an Amazon? Like I'm here for yeah. it. Yeah. It the thing about it was hard. to me. It gets entertaining. It was hard for me to watch first because the guy was a jerk. The guy in charge of the whole thing oh, was a jerk. What a turd it. nugget. But, you know, the, the, when, um, you know, that's pretty much what happened back in, back um, in the, those days. And it days. happens still? Yeah, not like that, but uh, still. You miss the part where she, she gets to tell him at one part they're working on something and she looks at him, she goes, you're lucky to be in the room. She tells him that because he says yeah. that to her at one point. Ew. But pow, Howard pow, Stark pow. makes, to- makes uh, Howard Stark makes Steve Rogers a Hydra Smasher suit. Like a like an Iron Man suit. Yes. Classic. Yes. Hydra and he uses Smasher the Tesseract suit. as it's the energy source. Cool. So yeah, it's really yeah, good. I'm not and gonna the, watch it. Oh, uh, and the next one with here's the deal. The next one with the, uh Black Panther, T'Challa. literally Chadwick Bozeman voiced it before he passed. Oh, that's cool. So not only that. Michael Roker as Yondu no voiced way. it. Josh Brolin as Thanos voiced it. That's cool. Everyone in it voiced their own. Karen Gillan voiced it. She's the, so cool. The only person who didn't voice it, Dave Bautista. But we all know Dave Bautista doesn't like Disney right now. He's he's mad at him. But yeah, because, because he didn't like the way they treated James. James Gunn. Gunn. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. He's so anyway, he looks that. spooky, scary in the new Dun Dun and the uh, new Dune film. Watched, Don't you think? Uh, well, yeah, it's because he's supposed to be creepy, the, okay, well, the Beast or Bond. I, I haven't read the book yet. Yeah. Working on anyway, it. Anyway, watch The Proposal. Oh, what Sorry. a good film. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds. And, what a, uh, Sandra, Sandra Bullock. Bullock. And what a classic Betty film. Betty White. She's hysterical in that. Betty and White when she's like 100. dancing, and she's like dancing oh, in the forest. I looked up the lyrics to that song. <laughs> that song was Bad. cool when I was in like late middle school, early high school. They had so many bad Oh, yeah, Dad, that's song. literally the point. That was the point. The point oh, of her gosh. adding that song in you was that would, would be that people like me would be like, ha, ha, that You know how they funny. say that something is better? Th- this is the best thing since sliced bread. You've ever yeah. heard that saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Betty White's older than sliced bread? She's so, really, so cool. So really, sliced bread is the best thing since Betty White. Anyway, she turns 100 this year. Pew, pew, pew. And um, I happened to fall upon watching Scott Pilgrim. Have, had you uh, never seen it before? I had, but I had to watch it again after we read the comic. Uh, but anyway, Scott Pilgrim versus the world. I will talk about that later. Classic. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So listen, um, What If is on Disney Plus. Um, Batman Returns. I don't suggest you watch it. HBO. It's on HBO Max. Um, the the proposal, proposal. Where'd you watch? Do you own that? Hulu. The proposal was on Hulu. Really cutie with commercials. Uh, I wanted to watch it. And uh, Scott Pilgrim's on Netflix. So if you guys got any of those, there you go. Check it out, check it out, friends. All right, Hannah. Pew, pew, pew. Pull pew. list. I'm, Pull I'm making list. that sound today. I don't know why. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> For those, those, those I'm a, of you I'm do a not child. Know, a pull what... list is a list of comic books that your local comic book provider pulls Ew. from their inventory. So, <laughs> so those nasty teenagers <laughs> don't. Dim ruffians don't get their nasty fingerprints. <laughs> All over the variant covers. Anyway, <laughs> I try to pull a total of seven books. What do I do, Hannah? Dad pulls for us two from um, each of the big two. He pulls two from Marvel, two from DC. He pulls um, two from independent comic, uh, independent creators. So places like IDW, Boom Studios, Image Comics. Those seem to be faves right now. And then he pulls for us a book of the week. Yeah, which is his so favorite, just, and that could be from anything. We're just going to jump in. Um, no particular order. Uh, book number one is Gamma Flight, issue three, which is DC, Marvel. Dang it! It's all right. Gamma. It's like the Hulk. No, I'm so with this you is now. a group. Um, of, oh, I should have uh, known that because we read we read the. Inv- <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm it's okay. Fine. 
So uh, Gamma better. Flight is, um, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It follows a group of like uh, corner characters in the Marvel Universe as they try to tackle these uh, gamma irradiated characters. And um, they find like a, like a, um, a place between our world and the, like a dream world for uh, gamma characters. So like the Hulk and uh, okay. the abomination and doc Samson. The Hulk. And, um, the cool thing about it is, is that there are, uh, there's a couple, the group is made up of like five or six people and two mm-hmm. of them are, uh, are villains, but they're really good guys. And, um, the absorbing man who some of you may know from watching the uh, Marvel agents of shield, he has the ability to touch something and then to become its property. Mm-hmm. And then there's a, a lady named Titania, who's like really big, super strong. And they, um, they have a relationship. They're like a married couple, and it's. I really enjoy their relationship. So that's sweet. This book is really good. It's written by Al Ewing, who is a big hot commodity <laughs> have right now. We talked now. about him before. I, I have. Like he's have. Do, he's doing the Immortal Hulk, and that's after he's why. done, um, his run ends on that in the next issue, and then starting in I think November or December, he will start taking over Venom. Oh, that'll so. be sick. He also does Guardians of the Galaxy. Fun. Uh, the comic book as well. Cool. So cool. there you go. My first independent Ooh. is by Image Comics. We love. And this is a book called Time Before Time. You haven't heard of that this, one before. Well, I this is issue four. So I've collected the first four. And the first it's been hard for me to follow. But what I did is I went back and reread them all. You you've been doing that recently, rereading them. And that's a really good book. So what happens is in this world, this is set in the future, and a like um like a syndicate i think they are called the syndicate they will transport people to the past to escape whatever they're in trouble with in the present so they set them up new lives and new everything and they send them back like to so like time witness protection program yeah, except they they'll do anything. It doesn't matter. Whoever's got the money, because the 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 where they're living in right now is in such a terrible place. Nobody wants to live there anyway. Mm. And then so they can take people to the past, but they go to the future and bring items from the future back to the present. But they can't take people to stay. I don't know why that is. In the but future. Anyway, this is following a guy. Sense. This is following a guy who works for the syndicate but wanted out. Mm. But he was in debt and also an FBI agent who um, is really, she's an FBI agent, but what had happened is her mom, dad, and her sister went to be transported back in time. But when they mm. got there, they said, uh, you, we, you've only got enough money for two. So they had to choose two to send back and oh, two to stay. No. Yeah. So she and this guy who works for the syndicate got accidentally sent back to another time. And now they're going through time. It's time it's like after a, time. It's like a um, spy. It's, it feels a lot like Looper almost. That's what bit. I was going to say. It sounds like that movie um, with Joseph Gordon-Levitt. But they're not going to kill themselves. They're, um, there's like a bunch of different players in this. There's FBI. There's a syndicate. There's the union. There's like people that run. There's a um, union. They call there's it the a union. time syndicate union. No, this is a people that from like this period of time, like this 20 years, you don't want to land in those 20 years because those people will take your stuff or whatever. They're bad. Oh, or whatever. They're okay. even worse than we are. But it's been really good. Gotcha. And, and I, cool. I, I am, I'm, I'm assuming that they'll probably end the first story arc in the next issue or two. So you might want to pick it up. So you might want to cool. Pick it okay. Up. Dope. Um, my first DC book is Nightwing 83. I seem to talk about Nightwing every you time. You like Nightwing. I'm glad. And, um, so in this uh, issue, he goes and he talks to all these different people. Like he talks to Superman and asks, his, uh, asks him what he thinks about what he should do. You don't really know what he's talking about. And um, Superman says, I'm going to have to go away for a while. Mm-hmm. I would like you to be a mentor to my son. Who's going to take over? We do know that his son takes over as Superman. For, That's really then, cool. Yeah. And, um, and, uh, and Superman's like, you need to call him. And he goes, ah, I can't call him. Um, calling him meaning 
Batman. You got to call Batman and tell him what oh. you're going to do. And like, no, because he'll try to talk me out of it, blah, blah, blah. And funny thing is, he has a family group chat on his phone. And it's like Batgirl, Damian Wayne. Uh, everybody's on it but Bruce Wayne. So it's like, <laughs> All that there's like six or seven different there's more than that members of the Bat family, and they're all on his phone, and they're like all texting. It's so hilarious. That's so funny. Yeah. So like anyway. our family group chat. What happens at the end is he basically says, "I am donating. We're going to end poverty in my town. We're going to create a living wage. We're going to find people jobs who want jobs. We by the end of this month, we will have no one living on the street. Wow, we're going to because he." No, Bloodhaven's where he lives. Gotcha. So, um, I was going to say, wow. <laughs> yeah. So, but anyway, the corrupt people, you know, in politics don't want that to happen. But so that's what he does at the end of the book. Cool. Um, yeah. So that's awesome. Um, my uh, another independent is from Yay. Image Comics. This is issue five, it's the last issue of the comic book Home. You love that. This is the book. This is the book about the illegal immigrant from who ends up getting who tried to right. Well, you come to find out that his aunt, who is living in the United States illegally, she has a son and a daughter. They all have superpowers. Oh wow! And um, the son and the daughter are like um, fighting the uh, Im- immigration police, and the mom's like, "You can't do this." You, we cannot draw attention to ourselves. We can't do this. They're like, well, you told us to protect him or whatever. And so basically they get the child, they rescue him, and um, they um, are talking with the governor of Texas mm. about, you know, coming out. And she's like, yes, we want to, we're going to make um, this city a sanctuary city and or maybe the mayor, mayor, I think, mayor Ooh. of whatever city. And we're going to do this and this and this, and we're going to stop the uh, bad treatment. Mm. You're smiling mm. like it's a good thing. I no. Mean, is it bad? Because it's lying? a trap. Oh, no. So she, I think, is um, of, uh, of Latino <laughs> descent, and I think there's a – she might have family members that are in the States illegal, and um, it ends with a bad person – saying so are they coming in and she goes i think i've got them ready to come in Dang so but it, that's how the Farts. comic book ends um it's a really good book but it opens it up for another story arc do you think um, it'll be like a recurring story arc now i think it'd be a good show good t- good movie. that's what you good said show. that's part of the reason why you said you were going to keep collecting it because you thought yeah, it was so, going to be this. plus it's only five issues so it was good i liked it yeah i think dad um, you might have mentioned every single episode Every issue single episode, episode, LOL. Issue of Home. I think you... It's pretty good. Okay. So, yeah, it's cool. definitely a plus. Um, so, my uh, last Marvel book is mm. an issue one, Ooh. The Trial of Magneto. Okay. I mean, how many so, of those has he gone through? The Scarlet Witch is dead. Oh, no! Someone has, someone has killed the Scarlet Witch, and fingers like point IRL? to Magneto. Yes, the, in the comic In the Sacred book. Timeline? Yes, in the comic book. She's dead. And they think it's Magneto. Dang. So this is going to be like a mini-series. I picked it up. I thought, I'll give this a try. There are too many daggone mutants. I can't tell who's who doing what with what. And it's just (laughs) overwhelming. I mean, uh, I think the book would be good if we had just just say maybe five, ten max. But there's got to be 30 different mutants in this comic book. And I... Dad, I, I just can't you know, follow it. That's why I prefer. That seems to be why I prefer independent c- comics rather than like the big ones, because the amount of like background knowledge you have to have to be able to enjoy <sighs> some of the me, I'm telling you some of the Marvel and DC books is it's yeah. just I just don't have it. And here's well, the thing: if I Hannah Turner don't have some of the background knowledge. Mm-hmm. Like your average Joe reader who's just deciding to be like to collect comic right. books because it sounds like yeah. fun is going to have mm-hmm. no clue what's going on well, because like I grew up reading X-Men. Marvel and DC encyclopedias for fun. Yeah. This, like, right? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. The, I'm the, just, I Listen, if you're not in all the way in with the mutants, there's no, no hope. 
that's you just can't follow it. <laughs> Help I'm me, serious. Kenobi. And there are people who that's all they do. They've been, but you know, I had that period of what, like 2004 to 2018, where I didn't collect comic books, mm-hmm. and I'm lost with the mutants. Yeah, yeah. So Man. if you want a good book to read and you don't have to have a lot of background, DC's Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow issue three which I have also mentioned every issue. You have. It came out fantastic book. I Dad, really feel like what? Is crypto. We don't know. Okay. D- Dad. We don't know if the dog's still no. alive or dead. I don't think he's ah. alive. But Okay, I'm sorry. So I think they're just you you know, the they're still trying to find this guy that shot and killed this little girl's dad. Hmm. And um this book um, I, f- I feel like they're just using that as a premise to tell a different Supergirl story every time. Mm. Okay. So they go to a so different that's like planet. like the overarching storyline, but there's like little micro stories. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this one, she goes to a planet where there are all purple people. Cool. And like, everybody's happy and la la la. And you come it's to find lie. out that they're, it's a lie. Oh, they basically, no. um, it was extremely, they had like purple and blue people. And or maybe it was the other way around. Maybe Star there were blue people. Maybe there's only blue people. Well, one color. There was only one well, color. Your color coming from the guy who can't see certain hues of certain things. Blue. They killed off all the purple people. They killed them all. Like everyone, like genocide. Ugh. Uh huh. And it had to do with it had to do with the bad guy who was leaving, who Man. they're fi- trying to find. And um, you find that out at the at you know, Supergirl re- uncovers it. Um, but the Supergirl comic book is really good. There's a lot of right, a lot of v- dialogue in it. Mm-hmm. Um, this is written by Tom King, who likes to do a lot of dialogue. Mm-hmm. I'm collecting like three of his comic books right now, but you do so, seem to like him. My book of the week. Book of the week. What's your book of the week? My book of the week is the last issue, issue 18 by Image Comics of the book. A Cinder. Oh. So I read Descender, which was issues one through 32, and it was about um, robots and man, Mm -hmm. mankind and robots. And uh, so all robots left, and A Cinder has been following the magic. Mm -hmm. And uh, and what's happened is in this uh, one through 18, the robots have come back. and the little boy, remember I told you there was a little boy named Tim 21? Yes. Who was a little boy. Um, this has a great ending. Everything turns out great. Um, the guy, the the main guy in the story who's now grown up, who was a little boy when the, the robot mm-hmm. was little, um, him and his uh, wife who he thought was dead, it's not dead. She's half robot, half wow. person. Anyway, it all comes together, and there's a great happy ending. Oh, we love it. We love the, to hear it. The art style is fantastic. Yay! The story writing is gorgeous. It's like watercolor. Um, I'm just going to spoil one little thing at the do it, end. Do it, do it, do it, do it. I dare you. What happens is Tim sacrifices himself, so he's like dying. Oh, no. But there was there is a robot there who is... Um, like an older robot who Mm. has run his purpose. And he says, I've run my purpose. I want to go. And he transfers Tim's into this older robot. So now the older robot is the same age as the guy who was a little boy when he was introduced to him. So now there he goes, we're the same age again. So it's great. Oh, that's precious as heck. So this, I love it. They're they're all going to be collected Everybody you think it's going to be them. like an omnibus type thing? I hope so. It's That'd great. That'd be dope. But I don't need them because I got all the. Co- I got all of them. I know, so but it would be cares? cool. It would be cool. Yeah. It'd so that's cool my comic books. Hey. A Cinder issue eighteen book of the I week. I want to read those. I think they seem like fun. They're a lot of fun. You would enjoy them. I think I yeah. would. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Question. Yeah. Do we want to do Free Guy or do we want to do Scott Pilgrim? Um. Let's do Free Guy in case okay. we run low on time. So we saw Free Guy. I saw it this weekend. Had terrible Same. previews in the front. And um, we're going to spoil it. If you don't want to know anything about it and then, you want to hear hey, about uh, Scott Pilgrim, come ahead. back in about 
five, ten minutes. Yeah. Go. Skip ahead. I loved this. Did you really? I had such a good time. So uh, I thought it was better. I thought it was better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was super fun. This was something that Trev wanted me to specifically mention to you that we watched three movies on Saturday. Oh, that Endgame, hurts. I know, it was phenomenal. Endgame, uh, Free Guy, and Knives Out, and it was uh, Chris Evans was in every single movie we watched. When he shows up, was hysterical. In, so listen, I died. listen, this movie is a Sony movie, but because really? it got Sony got bought by Marv by Disney, they could throw in the lightsaber. And the Captain America shield. Phenomenal. When that shield comes the Hulk up, goes, hand. Bah, 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 bah. I was like, no. I was screaming bah, 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 bah. in the theater. It was phenomenal. Not only that, um, uh, the portal gun, which you probably don't know what that is. I did only because Trev was like, it's a portal gun. I'm like, I don't know what that yeah. means, but okay. And then the, uh, the gravity gun, that's from a video game as well. Um, I don't know what game that's from, but I, yeah. The music. Oh, okay. So first of all, it starts out that do 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 do. What you gonna do when you get out of jail? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have, have some, some fun. fun. Nathan what? said. Na- I'm like, wait a minute. I'm That's like, this Mariah was on the Carey summer song. CD. No, it wasn't. Mariah Carey samples that song. That is not the same song. That's You're the Mariah kidding. Carey song. It's called Genius of Love by the Tom Tom Club, and she samples it. I said, I guarantee nobody knows. That Mariah Carey sampled that song. I need you to know that I was up in there like, I'm going to have some fun. Have some fun. What and you then you do when you get out of jail? <laughs> I know that song is all the way through fun? it. fun? I enjoyed that it did have, I didn't think it was going to have much of a plot, but it had a really good plot. It had a really good plot. So let me give the lowdown. So the okay, plot of the movie the is, is um, Ryan Reynolds plays a non-playable character. They call an him an NPC. NPC in a video game. Um, called Free City. Mm-hmm. And he's just a background character, a teller at a bank. Mm-hmm. So, and of course, you know, people can go in and play in the game. Mm-hmm. By the way, when Channing Tatum is in that car at the very beginning, Hysterical. I was like... Hysterical. I literally was like, is that Channing Tatum? Yes. Is is that It was. Channing that Tatum? was hilarious. So and then in the he movie, turned I around completely... and it was like the girl. And I was like, oh, that is, yeah, you're, that is Channing Tatum. It was so funny. Um, so what happens is uh, something happens to Guy. He sees a girl in the game who's not an NPC. She's actually she's a playable a, character. A playable character. It's like Mal- Malo Molotov Luder- girl. Mal- yeah. Molotov girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And really? um, he sees her and something changes inside mm-hmm. of him. So that's happening inside the computer. Outside of the computer, you come to find out that a uh, years ago, a young lady and a young guy, Millie and Keys, and Keys is played Keys by the dude, is Steve, the cool kid, the cool Steve, Steve. in uh, Stranger Things. Stranger Things did really good in this movie. He was, yeah, I really he's a liked good, him. He's a good and, actor. And the um, the other dude the, in the bunny suit. The other dude was good. I thought that he, and the girl Ty, that Ty, he did. Ty so Kia, you, I, why, I can't uh, say his name. Taika Waititi. Yeah, he was funny um, in this too. Yeah, we were like, he's Antoine. annoying. Yeah, but he was supposed was to be annoying. He was supposed to be, right? Yeah, that was part of it. So, his what stick. happens is this boy and this girl, younger, like they were very smart and they created a game and an that AI is sort engine. of like a, um, yeah. Um, and they sold it to, to uh, this brand company named Tsunami. Tsunami. And they shelved it. But it's literally S O O. Mm-hmm. It's, it's literally Sue. And yeah. Man, what a dumb name. I, I yeah. thought, ugh. Okay. Sorry. And, uh, and um, so, yeah, so they, they sold that. And uh, um, long story short, they, the guy who created Free City is the one who bought that. That's played by Taika Waititi. And he never used their stuff because he, he does use it, their stuff. But he, he has their to code. pay them. Mm-hmm. But you come to find out that. Um, the reason guy changes is because their code is inside the game mm-hmm. and he literally gains sentience. It's like an artificial intelligence. Mm-hmm. And because of the girl, mm-hmm. it's all because of the girl, because, because the guy who wrote, the guy who wrote 
the gentleman who wrote Guy's programming based his desire to change off of Millie. The her like wanting she was wanting next to, him. to wanting to like, attain something he couldn't get or some like being and, like loving a girl. Loving and it someone. was like the specific that's why, girl, and it was based off of Millie. It was because, based off Millie, and yeah. when he, it looked a lot like the multiverse, like when he did something, everything changed, and yeah. then that meant if that was there, that every character, every, every the game could character finish. is capable of doing it. Capable, and so of doing part it. of it was like, part of it was them fighting for the rights to their game, but also like, hey, this is like kind of artificial intelligence, and how do we protect it? But. The thing was that the guy, Taika Waititi, he wanted it destroyed mm-hmm. so he wouldn't have to pay them any pay money. Pay them bunches of money. Yeah. So, um, man, it so was that's so good. It yeah, it was great. Did you like Dude? Dude was did you look ridiculous. Him up? I did not. You like told, told me not you, to, said, and so I didn't. I mean, and he, like, awesome. he pops up, and he, like, you could see his underpants. Dude. And his, yes. like, lats are giant. And he's the got one this, lady like, goes, the t shirt. Yeah. Lady, the lady goes, this is just remember the time before we were fired. <laughs> she this says. is the moment before we were. My favorite was like catchphrase. Yes, he goes to do something and they <laughs> hadn't put it in there yet. And he goes, "I love three things: eating food, insert two here, two here. three to be deterred, TBD." Because <laughs> <laughs> they hadn't goes, finished him. Catchphrase. Catchphrase. <laughs> it's phenomenal. I loved it. Yes, <laughs> so good. And then he put his little glasses on him, and he could. And see he's everything. like, "Look, shiny, shiny, run after the shiny." So yeah, the I thing, did enjoy like, it. Everyone becomes like everyone's like, "Oh, this guy!" Like you, you play Free City, kind of like how you play. Like I mean, I don't know. I'm not a gamer. Uh, like Fortnite or something like that. Like it's like a shoot 'em up kind of game. Right. Did you see the thing from Fortnite? The unicorn mm-hmm. axe or whatever. I did the yeah. unicorn axe. Mm-hmm. Um. And so, but part of the reason people were obsessed, they called him Blue Shirt Guy. His yes. name was Guy. Uh, was that his skin was an EP- NPC skin, and everyone would come up to him and be like, your skin is amazing. And he's like, thanks, I like moisturize. Yes. And like all these different things. And what happened like, to the different from the game is, because the game you got, you leveled up and got money by doing, by like punching people, kicking people, robbing banks and all that kind of stuff. And he was a he nice, decided, he was like kind. I'm not hurting anyone. So he did everything kind, and uh, that's and how he leveled like, up. Really? You can level up like that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Matt, yeah, okay. so, I enjoyed I mentioned, that. I mentioned the music, the Millie's theme, the dun-dum, dum dum like that I little theme. It. Okay. I don't remember it. I was sitting there, and that theme would come on and be like, where is this from? Where is this from? Where was it from? Where is this from? And it like kept coming on over and over again. I'm like, I know this. I know this. I know this. I didn't it's pay from, attention to it. It's from Paper Man, the Disney short Paper Man. Oh, really? That's because weird. The, the composer who composed mm-hmm. Paper Man did all of the composite, all of the score for Free Guy. Cool. And so he awesome. took part of that part of the score from mm-hmm. Paper Man and it's called Millie's theme. And so you gotcha. can listen to the score of Paper Man mm-hmm. and it's like six minutes long. And then you can listen to Millie. That's like like anytime like the love theme that like popped up mm-hmm. when like Guy was looking at her or at the very end, her and Keys, um, the Millie theme is um the same from Paper Man. And oh, I need you to know cool. that I um I had to think a really long time about that and figured it out and felt well, very smart. There you go. You are on it. I'm you smart. You are so good. Google also helped. Google helps. Um, there were a couple things I didn't like. Okay, what? Well, um, there was some, there, like you said, I don't know at what age you should let the, I wouldn't there was let, some, I wouldn't let a person under 10 watch this. The sock thing. Did you know what that, that was? Yeah, that was pretty bad. Um, my, I the, felt the like... The guy yelling at his mom, yeah. rude. The, the issue was, I think there were parts in the movie where I think it just said, Ryan, ad lib. And those parts, I think he tried his hardest to be a PG-13 Deadpool in those parts. And I mean, he And did. I thought they felt fl- I thought it fell, fell flat. I didn't like the Jesus joke, but... I wouldn't have liked it anyway. Um, I see you didn't even catch I it. I didn't even catch it. But like, 
it tastes like uh, something in my mouth and stuff. And, you know, like just some of the things that, that, that he did that I thought was ad lib, I, I thought it was, I didn't think it was good. Kind of lame. Um, yeah, I did kind of kind of lame. Other than that, I thought the movie was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. It was a I'll watch it bubble again. gum popcorn movie. I'll, I'll watch it again. I'd watch it again just to see, um, you know, see other parts yeah, of it. Yeah, I wonder the, if, like, the, how much of it I missed. The guy named the Buddy character, Aww, who was his best friend. His name was, uh, LOL, his Buddy character was actually named Buddy. Do you know, it felt like they just tried to do a, um, uh, what's the guy in in the um, Jumanji movies? Jack Black? No, 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 no. Um, oh, he's a comedian. Short guy. There's the there's there's the Rock, Jack Black, Karen Gillan, uh, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. It felt like they tried to pigeonhole that character to be almost like a Kevin Hart character. Gotcha. Did you? Can you see that now? I can in some ways. I yeah. I mean, I liked him. Don't get me wrong. I liked him too. I and thought then he the was security so sweet. guards being like that. Security guard is the God, best. That's a real good. Um, <laughs> My favorite, Funny. my favorite side character in the whole movie was the guy who couldn't put his arms down. <laughs> I need you to know that I was like, I was like, Trevin, Trevin, look at that guy, and he was like, what? I'm like, this guy. He's got his arms up the he's whole time because that's what he does. He's, he's a like, non-playable Trevin, character, his, if you guys don't know. He's a non-playable down. character who is always being held up, so his arms always are always being up. held captive. And, and so and he, you see him just walking around and his, he's got his, his arms, arms are up. up. He tries to put them down and he can't do it. He's like, ah, it's so funny. Uh, yeah. It's hysterical, but yeah, uh, that guy was really funny. And the girl who was like, who like taught herself how to do a cappuccino, make a cappuccino, cappuccino? by trial no. and error. Yeah, and then the the tank. Then at the end, she was like making in. everything, and she was like, "Here's this, here's here's this um, double chai extra espresso with a dash of cinnamon and cold foam," and then like hands it, and it's like hands has it, oat milk like, in it, and I'm like, "Okay, girl." Yeah, all of the NPCs are like hiding in a coffee shop. In the <laughs> coffee shop, they're all, all the NPCs are in the coffee shop. That was so funny. funny. I enjoyed it. I liked it, man. And they're already want to. They already want a sequel. I mean, I'd watch a sequel. Yeah. Hmm. Would, would I? Too. What would the sequel would. even be? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I don't man. know. It was Who? good. I enjoyed it. I. I mean, it was fun. The um when he. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Chris Evans going, what the? <laughs> everyone, everyone in the movie I theater went, laughing. what? It was phenomenal. Everybody yelled <laughs> at that. He was in it for like a second. He was Hysterical. only in the movie for like two seconds. How much do you think he got paid? It. How much do you think he got paid? I don't know. Who knows? Man, I hope, he, I hope was... he got a buck for it. I hope he got some change. All right. So um, if, if you went into this game with five lives, how many lives would you give this? I hope I wouldn't die at all. There you go. So I would keep all my lives. I'd keep all my lives, please. Thank you. I'd give it a four life out of five. I I mean, I had no hopes for it other than that it would be fun. I do. I like that. I was uncomfortable in a couple spots, but other than that, but also I'm I'm a 26 year old human being who can like watch movies like this. Listen, I also feel bad. I feel also feel bad about how I really got slammed the suicide squad. I like living in a place where a time when we can watch movies made uh, about things that are, yeah. So sorry, suicide squad. You're not that bad. Man, suicide squad was what you, what you thought it was going to be. Yes, like, you know, was. same with this exactly. movie. Like it's not going to win an Academy award. No, it, no. I mean, but that doesn't I mean that probably it's not watch worth suicide watching. Squad again though. And probably not free guy. I'd watch, I'd watch them both again. Like I'd put free yeah, guy on the background right. of like knitting or something like there that. Like I'm Perfect. I'm not gonna pay to go Thanks. see it again. Well, let's hop in. You got anything else to say about that? Uh no, it was fun. So we watched the video game movie. So yes. I thought it would be fun to read a video game inspired graphic Comic novel. Book. Yeah. Um you can read the first issue, the first trade, and there are just six of Scott Pilgrim versus the world mm-hmm. um for free on Amazon Prime. With the Kindle app. And um, I think this was in color, wasn't it? It was in color. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's in now color. in color. So maybe now it was in, in black and white and it and, was, um, but now it's in color. I'm here to tell you, what'd you think about it? Man, I liked it. Yeah. Art style was interesting. Like it was kind of like, I mean, not to like be mean, 
I, I could have drawn it. Like it felt approachable. It did. Does that make yes, sense? Field appro- yeah, it did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, man, I really enjoyed, I, I liked the movie. The movie's very funny. LOL, Chris Evans is in that too. Um, I really liked the movie. Rereading mm-hmm. it back, this is a 23-year-old man dating a 17-year-old. And that yeah. made me very uncomfortable. Yeah. Well. I hated that so much. They didn't do anything. I mean, and he didn't kissed. take advantage of her. I, he didn't. And he didn't kiss her. She kissed, she kissed him. him. It still makes my physical body uncomfortable. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Physically, I was like, oh, I hate this. Yeah. I hate it. That is wrong. Mm-hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Blah. Okay. <laughs> if so you're a 17 year old know, listening to this, please don't date don't, a 23 year old man. No. It's not One worth year, it. One year. One year. Um, Wait till you're I, I literally. Went and then immediately watched it, and then I was watching it while reading. It's literally the panel. Page. It's literally it panel exactly, by panel. It is it's exactly not, the same it's thing. Panel by panel, man. I couldn't believe it. That's I was so like cool. shocked. Now there are a couple places where you get some more info in the graphic novel. Mm-hmm. Um, and bummer thing is, is that this graphic novel ends after he defeats Fights, the first. The first one. Yeah, the first evil first ex. evil ex boyfriend. Yes, and um, my favorite is I was oh like, coins, and he just picks up the yes. coins. I thought that yes. was funny. Did you so get my really good, uh, get my email? I skimmed it. <laughs> he goes, "What? I hand That's delivered so that in a funny. blizzard." <laughs> yes, and then he mailed a letter. He got a letter yeah, in the mail he, and an email. He hand delivered that second what are you, letter a in a blizzard. Pirates are in. Pirates are in. Pirates are in, and. And if you watch the movie, they take literal panels when she tells the backstory for who she, mm-hmm. all of her exes, those are literally from the, the it's comic It's so book. cool. Yeah. Man, so I'd it, never read the comic before. Me, oh, well, I've skimmed it. I sort of like the email. LOL, I, I, I skimmed, did you get my email? I skimmed it. Yeah. So it was really good. I was, I was surprised at how good it is. And um, yeah. Yeah. Wallace, I love his roommate. Wallace, Wallace, Wallace is hilarious. my LOL at uh, Scott being like, uh, like when he walk into the Wallace's place and it's yeah. like Scotts, Scotts, Wallace, yes. Scotts, Wallace bought this, like yes. like labeling everything that's in that like little. And there's uh, one bed. Apartment. They sleep in <laughs> one bed. Wallace is gay. Scott is not. And they both sleep <laughs> they in the share, same bed. They share, it's they not share even a bed. bed. At one it's like point, a mattress on the floor. It's ground. a mattress on the floor. Yes. It's so <laughs> funny. Um, but yeah, that was in the movie as well. It was. Yeah. And Wallace hates him. Mm-mm. They're not friends. I think they are friends. You think they're friends? I think they're friends. I think Wallace just, I mean, shoot. It, he buys the CD to get Ramona Flowers with Wallace's money. Yeah. Uh, is your credit card information right on this? I'm buying a CD. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it's all. This is the Amazon delivery girl. Oh, man. Yeah. Ramona Flowers, the, one of the first Manic Pixie Dream Girls. Well, I'm probably going to go and uh, finish, finish the movie. It. LOL. I, got, I man. got to where he fought Todd, the vegan, last night. The vegan. Brie Larson. Which is Brandon Roth. It was Superman. And Brie Larson. I didn't even realize Brie Larson was in that. Brie so, Larson was the white hair, the blonde hair and the piggy tails. Brandon Roth oh, is yeah. going to be the voice on Netflix's Magic the Gathering animated series. Dope. What voice? Like the it. narrator? I don't know. Or a It's going to be a Magic the actor. Gathering Netflix voice movie actor. show, TV show, not movie. Yeah. Yo, Dungeons and Dragons and Magic the Gathering are having a moment. I'm in a moment to, in TV. I need to do Dungeons and Dragons. I need to. I'll do hey, it. Hey, my friend Chris Poyer out there who does Dr- Dungeons and Dragons, you need to set a brother up. Set a brother up. What do you, do you think he'll ever, if he watches this to the end or listens to it, that'd be funny. That would, I mean. Shout yeah. out to him right now. He started a new gaming place called Columbus Got Game in Columbus, Georgia. And there, it's like cool. a ministry to to reach other people. And That's yeah. dope. I don't go. know who that is. Is he your friend? He's a he does the Pull This podcast along with Hector. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I love, um, uh, they're cool guys. So anyway, that's all I got. Uh, yeah. Wait, can I do some self-promotion for you? 
because I love well, you. Yeah, what is, that would be mine if I did it. So you would be other promotion. I am other promoting my dear papa. Papa! papa. Y'all, dad's going to be at the Lexington Comic and Toy Convention. And it is September um, 10th, 11th, and 12th. Does it start the 9th? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. Mm-hmm. The weekend after Labor Day. Yep. And so he's going to have a booth. You can come check him out. Um, he's going to have his art stuff there. He's going to have like yep. prints and little mosaics you can buy and big mosaics you can buy. If you're like, yo, I want a big one, he's going to have those there too, as well as like stickers and magnets and stuff like that. And yeah. you got approved to do your own panel. You got approved to do a, a, yes. a nerd a Bible geek study. Geek Church, Fellowship geek of Church. the Geek. Yeah. Yeah. That's at 11 on Sunday. The, it's going to be awesome. The, so the the um, the convention starts at ten. Mm-hmm. So um, that's good because that means anyone can come to it. It's going to be a geek worship service. As of right now, I don't have a guitar player, but I got a singer. Me pointing right at her. Oh, I'm like, who's the singer? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Hannah. <laughs> Maybe do two worship songs. So hey. we just got to get somebody. Maybe I'll play the kazoo if we can't find them. <laughs> yeah. So if you're in Lexington or planning on going to the con or are checking this out. Mosaic fan art. I have two booths. It's 415 and 515 is the number. I don't I don't know if they. Are they next to each other? Oh, yeah. they're. It's humongous. I got a gargantuan space. Yo, I'm stoked. 20 by 10. Twice I'll as big there. as the one I had. I'll be in there. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have every two. day. Um, yeah. You gonna be there Sunday too? Yeah. I'm gonna be. Yeah, some on Sunday. Not Good. probably not all the time, but yeah, okay, Sunday. Cool. And I'm gonna be there in my mosaic fan art shirt, and then I'm gonna be there in my sis and big pops culture shirt, and then I'm gonna yep. be there in my mosaic fan art shirt, and then mm-hmm. I'm gonna be there in my sis and big pops culture. Shirt. <laughs> We're gonna wash them every day. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna um, have to. <laughs> it's funny because the panel, if you go on and look on their uh, site, it's on the website. I. It's not. That is so cool. No, yeah, I did see I'll, it. Yeah, and I it saw says, the fellowship uh, of the geek thing. Yeah, uh, by Todd Turner of Mosaic of Fan Mosaic Art and, and Sis, Sis and Big, and Pop's Big Pop Culture. Culture podcast. That's yeah. so cool. But yeah, I just go. wanted to tell our our listeners that that was happening. So if you awesome. are around Lexington, Kentucky, um, and the surrounding tri-state area, perhaps what would be the tri-state area? Would that be Ohio, like doing, Indiana, I feel Kentucky? Like we're doing Doofenshmirtz Evil, Evil Incorporated. Incorporated. Usually the tri-state area is, well, from where we're from in northern Kentucky, it was considered Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky. Yeah. But where we are, Koi. we're right in the middle. So I don't know. K-Y. Anyway. Kentucky, Yeah, Ohio, come Kentucky. by, stop by. See me, yo. So, end roll, Dad. End roll, Dad. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So, our... Podcast podcast is put, is put man, I messed up. Our art is created by Nathan. Hey, thanks for doing that for us, bud. He yeah, made that in job, Microsoft brother. Paint. What a king to be able to do that. Our intro music was p- composed and performed by Brockwell Nathan. Hey, he has this new single called Tucson, and it's actually a really sweet little song. And you can listen to it on any streaming service, so check it out. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Our podcast is edited um, and uploaded by yours truly, um, Hannah there Joe. You go. And our YouTube page is mm-hmm. uh, maintained by the dear papa, Big Pops and himself. If- Hannah puts anything that's incorrect, I go and edit that. And if I misspell something, which I am likely to do because spelling <laughs> is not my spiritual gift, Dad <laughs> fixes it for me. It's all cool. Well, listen, guys, we are on all kinds of um, podcasting things. We're on iHeartRadio. I didn't even know it. No, that's so cool. I didn't know that either. But Yeah, nope. so check us out. Rate us. Give us a five-star review and share. If you don't think we're five-star worthy, then don't uh, do anything. Then... Just Hang listen a left in the background. And we'll see you later. <laughs> Gator. So until then, catch on the flippity flop. We'll catch on the flippity flop. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>